Okay, this is my uh, dumpster trash truck. This is a hook lift and I've got a problem here. The problem that I've got is this hydraulic cylinder right here is dirty and leaking. So I've got some bad seals going on and it's leaking hydraulic fluid all over. So there's this pin right here that's holding the cylinder in place. You can see it right here. It's probably about 10 inches long and you can see all the hydraulic fluid right there leaking out. So these seals need to re be replaced. I need to get this pin out of here. And you can see how I pound this right here. I've taken a sledgehammer and pounded this. It's a sledgehammer. I've tried a bunch of different options here. I've tried pulling this out with a threaded rod right there. So here's how this sucker works. You gotta turn this on. You turn the PTO on right here. I'm thinking if I put this right here, that'll hold that in place. And can't be having any tension on that pin right there or the pin up there. So that needs to come down just a little bit. So that's kind of smashed right there which is okay, now I've gotta to try to get that pin out of there. First thing I wanna do is I wanna to try to pull the pin out from the other side. I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but we're gonna find out. I have tried pulling that pin lots of times last week and hitting it with a sledgehammer. No dice there. This is what I've got to work with. Got some coupling nuts, got some stainless rods, which I've gotta cut this off. This is a grade eight coupling nut here. So I'm hoping to use this to pull. This is a stainless rod here or a carriage bolt. $8.99 per each bolt there from my local Ace Hardware. The PPE police or PPE. Yeah, PPE police. They'll be happy to know that I've got my PPE on, okay? I'm gonna wear these the whole time so I can stay safe. First rule is always shop safety. Safety glasses all the time, no matter what. So this is a half by 13 thread right here. So this stainless uh, bolt should thread right into here, no problem. Right, put some white lithium grease on there and I'm gonna try and work that out of there. So that didn't feel like it was threading in there all fancy like Applebee's on a date night. This is a spacer. It's got plenty of room to spare. It sits against this metal piece. I put this big, thick, heavy washer here like this. And it's starting to get cold out here. Grade eight coupling nut. I wanna put a big one on there so I can get as much gripping power as I can. So this is gonna go on there like that. Okay, and in theory, as I crank on this nut, this, the pin should pull right out. And I don't know if that's gonna work or not. Oh, it is working. It is, it is, it is. So in theory, should just be able to use this cheater bar. This is a very good sign. This is way more progress than I've been able to achieve at any given point in time. I'm gaining ground there, it's coming out. That is like three weeks in the making. I don't know. This is risky business here. It's coming out, this is working. It's really deformed that washer right there big time. Okay, so let's see what, how she looks. Looks like it's come out just a little bit right there, but I need to go get some washers, so take a look at that. Oh my gosh, wow, that's crazy. That is working though. So that is a, that's a big plus, that's working. I haven't been able to get that far for a long time. 
I'm gonna see if we can get this thing to come through here. Just a second. <laughs> Here's my torch set up here. Just barely got this set up and paid $400 for this whole setup. And then I had to fill the bottle of oxy or the acetylene for a hundred bucks. So it did come with regulators and then I replaced this one. This one had cracked plastic or the plastic was gone. It did come with this cutting tip right here. Um, and really for today's use, I'm gonna use it to heat. I don't want to cut. I do not have a rosebud tip today. I ordered one, but it's not here. I've also checked, I uh, used this bottle right here, sprayed all my connections here just to make sure there is no leaking. So I've also turned this on. This is supposed to go on a half a turn like that, like that. And then I've put, I've sprayed all these connections down like this just to see if I have any leaks. The guy at air gas told me that this was good fire insurance to get a new hose, so that's what I did. I've also sprayed down these connections here to see, this is soapy water to see if there's any leaks and I did not see any, so I think we're good. Need to heat this up because I'm trying to pull this pin through there. I was working on this last night and I ran out of daylight, so I'm gonna try my luck at using a torch to heat this up. I realize I don't have the rosebud. I'm gonna flip the gas on just a little tiny bit. Turn this sucker on like that. There's just no room to work up here. Get that about right there. Turn on the, oh, dang it. Really need that striker. Try to heat this up, this up, this up, everything in between. Just heat it up really good. Dang it. So I've heat this up, not great, but I'm gonna try the sledge. I don't see that moving. So I put the block here, block here, block here, block here. I'm cranking this. And all that's happening is my wood is crushing. So that is not gonna work. I don't want to risk breaking another bolt. So that's not gonna work. All right, so I gotta heat this up again because apparently I wasn't ready the first time. So I'm gonna put a little more heat on this and then I'm gonna try pulling it out. I've got this all rigged up and ready to go. I think it's gonna come out. So the idea is to get all the, the surrounding metal hot so it expands and then the, the pin, you wanna cool down. 
by spraying some cold air on it and then I should be able to just pull it out. It's just a major undertaking to get this, this stupid pin out. But I do enjoy doing this kind of stuff, it's fun. I got a torch, so that's kind of cool, you know? Just wish I had the right tip, the rosebud tip. This is really pissing me off. And it just keeps dying on me. So I got the wrong tip. So I did unscrew the hydraulic fittings. There shouldn't be any pressure on the ram. This pin. All right, so let's see what happens here. And I crank on this. That's not gonna work. That is gonna break. I can already tell. Cause I'm not hearing anything. I'm not feeling any give. See, I knew it. Broke. Now, how am I going to get that out of there? Dang it. So it broke right there. Hitting it with the sledge. It's my only other option. I really had high hopes that it was going to come out. Oh, that's so disheartening. So, sledge it is. So, I'm going to hit this with the sledge right there. That is not working. Ooh, I got it out about an eighth of an inch. The metal isn't even hot. Touching it, there's no heat on there. Oh, got another quarter of an inch. So it is working. So see that mark right there, that black mark? That was where I marked it. So it is coming out. I don't know why it's gotta be so difficult and hard, but getting it about a quarter inch at a time. Take the marker like this. And rub it like that. And then pound on it. Holy moly. That is a beast. So I'm back on this project. It's been a few days. I did get the pin out. It was one whale of a time getting it out. I basically used this. See that? Pound that in there. And it was... It was not easy to get out. The heat didn't really do anything and I just pounded. it. So I now need to get this pin out down here. There's a pin. Look at all that nasty grime that's, that's causing me so much grief. 